way we look at design is it can really make or break a company. Our clients are looking at what they buy. They want to be proud of it. They want the world to know they're successful. They're successful in their business. They should be successful in their private life. So the influence of design, it, but it has to be practical. We're also looking not only at the influence of design as far as our product looks good, it must be usable. And we are using boats in sea conditions, therefore we have to be practical. For, well, always is about the return on investment for all of us, <laughs> I imagine, because obviously we are here to uh, do a profit. But I think uh, for us, when we're doing consultancy, uh, we start to see how after this difficult period of the crisis start to be much more um, satisfactory for us, see how people put more investment inside of their design and how people start to care more about the end result rather than just uh, have something done with a budget. So it's very important uh, to look into how people are looking into the color consultancy and colors and how they invest the money there, but also how they are wanted to know more and learning more through buying more magazines and more books in our site to learning about the trends. So in there, from there is where we mainly measure our uh, business return. And uh, for the industry in general, I think for us looking into exhibitions is really important because you can start to see it and now start to be more busy and more bubbly. Even if there is a lot of choices, people are still going there out to learning more and to find out more things about other companies and buying other different products than perhaps they didn't. Design creates spaces where good business can be had. For instance, we'll design a restaurant. Good design has increased the revenue of the restaurant, so good design leads to good business. Uh, without good design, we wouldn't have any sales. Uh, the design of our magazines is what makes uh, our magazine stand out against many, many other magazines or newsstand within the UK. Um, and quite simply, without that great design, without that great content, we wouldn't have the sales that make us the number one magazine in this market uh, every single month. Hmm, that's a tricky one because not all successful designs are profitable. But then again, that need be no reflection on the design. It can instead be a reflection on poor business sense, which could be attributed to sales or marketing or the way they approach take it to market. But it, very often it's taken outside of the designer's hands. I think that good design people can spot it immediately, it's kind of intuitive whilst and therefore if a product is well designed or an environment is well designed people will warm to it and that obviously helps sales and helps business and if something's poorly designed obviously it makes that, that much more difficult. I think possibly the most straightforward way to measure this is to look at volume and then possibly to look at how you manage in your rivals with competitors and how the design you've made produces something that is uplifting for others and helps them lead better lives.